Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Siemens WT47RT90 9kg heat pump condenser dryer. Bit of a mouthful. And what I want to do today is to show you around the tumble dryer some of the features and benefits that it offers. So let's have a look. Just before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. Uh, what I do is I normally talk about things like household appliances like this. Uh, I do talk about things like cordless vacuums and small domestic appliances. So just quickly subscribe and then we'll carry on. So within the UK, heat pump tumble dryers, especially over the last four or five years, have become very popular. Now the main advantage is they are very energy efficient. I'll show you the energy label in a moment. Uh, and that's the main advantage of owning a heat pump tumble dryer, that if you do a lot of tumble drying, then the amount of energy that you can save can be quite a lot. I'll just show you the energy label. Uh, this is the energy label for the heat pump model. And as you can see here, it's an A double plus rating. And it's at 258 kilowatt hours per annum. Now this model is the equivalent, so it's still a Siemens, it's the same load, so it's still a 9 kilogram, but this is the standard drying method. And as you can see here, it's a B rating, which is still okay, uh, but 616 kilowatt hours per annum. Uh, okay, it's not quite three times as much, but it's certainly more than twice the amount of electricity. Now if you imagine, if you're, say, a large family, and if you're using a tumble dryer two, three, possibly four times a week, then that's quite a lot of energy that if you were to go for the heat pump model then you would be saving quite a lot of energy especially if you use it overnight so if you use things like economy 7 where you've got cheaper electricity then it works out even cheaper what I try and pride myself in in my videos if you subscribe to my YouTube videos for a while is knowing that when I talk about a product I will tell you the advantages of it but I also try to tell you the disadvantages so it could be a reason why it might not be suitable for you. So the first disadvantage is the initial cost of the appliance. Uh, by now you may have seen the price on these, uh, that they are, they are more expensive. Another main disadvantage is that the duration of the programs are longer. So if you're going to have this and if you wanted it to dry quickly, then this may not be the one for you. Also, if you are going to put this in a cold atmosphere, so if it's going to be outside in a garage or utility where there's no heating, then personally I wouldn't really recommend heat pump tumble dryers. The main downside is that it can extend the duration of the programs even further. Uh, and that's a comment that we have had from some customers before. So it's not a fault with the appliance because when you take it into a warmer environment, then the programs do speed up. Uh, but as I say, for some people that they put their tumble dry into outside into a garage, then it might not be suitable for you. Anyway, enough of the negatives. Let's concentrate on the positives of heat pump now. To turn the dryer on, all you do is you just turn the dial. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you go, so you can turn it either way. Um, what I'll do is I'll cover some of the, the programs briefly. Uh, these tend to be the main programs I suppose people would use. Uh, so you've got the, the different options here, cupboard dry, ex well, cupboard extra dry, cupboard dry, and then iron dry. Um, all of these, well, the majority of the programs use something called a sensor. And what this will do with the sensor dry, when you put the clothes in, within the first normally about five to ten minutes, it will detect the amount of clothes in there, and it will uh, detect the, the moisture content. And what you'll find is here, I mean, if, for, for a lot of people, if you saw four and a half hours, then that would be quite scary uh, because you couldn't have a drying time of four and a half hours uh, for, for a lot of people, especially if you're a big, busy family. Uh, but what this will do, normally after, as I say, normally after about five or ten minutes, it will reduce that. Uh, once it sense the, uh, the amount of clothes in there and the moisture content, then that will reduce from there. Uh, of course, the... The amount of moisture within the clothes is very much determined by the washing machine. Uh, you can find if you had, say, a 1,000 spin machine that doesn't get a huge amount of water out compared to a 1,400, then if you, had, if you put the clothes in on a 1,400 and give it, say, an extra spin, then that will get a lot more moisture out, which means it's a reduced time within the tumble dryer. Uh, so these three programs are for the cottons. Um, and what you'll find, for, for a lot of people, the cupboard dry is normally okay. Uh, this is 
this is where the clothes are still dry enough to take out and to put straight up in a cupboard. Uh, the next option is the iron dry. Uh, this is a really good option, so if you've got things like shirts or blouses that you do want to iron uh, almost straight away or a bit later, then what, with the iron dry what it will do is it will leave them slightly damp. And you do see that it does make quite a difference to the time. So you go from 3 hours 50 down to 2.56, so it, it trims almost an hour off the time. As I say, that will reduce uh, when you've got the load in there as well. So it is also to note that the cotton program is one of the few programs that you can dry the full nine kilogram load in. Uh, a lot of the other programs are designed for much smaller loads. Uh, you've got quite a few other options. So you've got things like the outdoor program. Um, so with this one, this is just really for, I suppose, one or possibly two items. Uh, so weatherproof and outdoor clothing with a membrane coating and water repellent fabrics. Uh, so this is really, a, I suppose, almost the other end of the scale. You're going from a full nine kilogram down to just really one or possibly two items. As you go around, you've got things like the towel program. That's a six kilogram load. They're for hard wearing towels or dressing gowns made of cotton. Uh, then you've got the, the mixed fabrics. Uh, this is quite a popular one. So this is like a, a mixed load. Uh, with this, it is a little bit quicker. You're looking at around an hour as an approximate time. Uh, with this one, it's only a three kilogram load, so it is quite a small load. And the next program, this is the Time Program Warm. Uh, and what this basically does is this enables you to set a manual time if you want to. Now, for, I suppose for the majority of the time, uh, we've got a, a machine that's similar to this at home. Uh, we tend to use the, the sensor dry a lot, uh, almost all the time. I just think the concept of putting the clothes in and the dryer does the work for you, you know, having to guess the time is, is always a great thing. Um, some people are still insistent on having the, the manual time drying tumble dryers. Personally, I don't really get it, um, especially if it's outside or in a utility where you need to go and have a look to see if the clothes are dry. And often they might be just under dry or you might be over drying them, which again is costing you money because you're drying it for too long. Uh, so this program is on here and what you can do is you can actually just change the time on here So you can go well over an hour if you want to So this program actually goes up to around three hours um, And as I say, it's a it is a program that's on here. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much it would be used uh, But as you get up to three hours, then it just reverts back to the 20 minutes uh, I do understand the shorter program, so if you just wanted to pop something in for say 20 minutes uh, then I get that, but I'm not quite sure about using the longer programs. Now the next program I'll actually cover in a couple of minutes. Uh, now you've got quite a few other options around here, um, I'll, I won't cover everything, uh, but you've got other things like the, the Rapid 40, uh, and that one is a, around a 40 minute program, so it's showing up as 45 minutes here. Uh, this is just really for a, a one kilogram load, so it is quite a small load. Uh, I suppose if you've washed something, done a very small load in your washing machine, and you just want to dry it quickly, so it's a mixed load of synthetic fabrics and light cottons. Uh, other options you've got around here, uh, so you've got the, the Easy Care options, so whereas you've got the cottons around here, you've got the Easy Care just to that side. And with the Easy Care, they have a maximum load of around three and a half kilograms. Uh, when I say maximum load on the programs, uh, clearly it's not going to stop you putting more in. Uh, but if, if I was to say select the cupboard dry and the easy care, and I know what some people will do is that they will think, well, okay, that one, that's an hour and two minutes, and around here, that cupboard dry is three hours fifty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything into that option, thinking that it will be quicker. Uh, but what you'll find is that because of the, uh, the load sizes, uh, as I say, th that program is around three and a half kilograms, then chances are that will take longer or as long as the original program here. So it is something that I try and tell people to make sure you look out in the instructions for the maximum load sizes. Uh, now that I cover most of the programs, um, I'll just run you through the display. Uh, first of all, the, the t display itself on these Siemens machines is absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, it's a really nice clear white LED display, uh, something that goes down really well with the customers. Uh, some of the sister company uh, Bosch uh, on their tumble dryers and washing machines they use a red LED display. And although it is okay, I must say I do prefer the, uh, the white on the Siemens. Uh, so what you've got is you've got a couple of options. First of all you've got the drying level and you might think that okay these are a sensor dry so it should dry appropriately but for some people you might just want to give it a, a bit of an extra dry so what Siemens have done is they've put this option on here so if we select uh, say the iron dry at 2 hours 56 then what you can do is you can just increase the, the drying level um, and that's if you think that it's still a little bit too damp uh, if you've washed things like sheets that have tangled together and if you just want to uh, just give them a, a little bit of an extra dry then you've got that that option there. The next option I've pretty much covered the program duration that's for the time programming which I mentioned earlier. Uh, you have got the ready in so this is a time delay so what you can do is if you use things like economy 7 then you can actually delay the program to start and what this will do is it will go up to 24 hours so if you knew that you wanted something to uh, well this is an ending time so rather than starting it will actually finish in 24 hours so it will uh, what it does is it knows the the load that's in there and it will be able to detect when to finish which is very good and that's really good if you've got cheap electricity overnight a thing like economy 7 uh, then that's something that goes down well with customers and then if you don't want that then you just carry on and then it just reverts back to the normal time. Uh, the next option on here is called less ironing and this is really an anti-crease function. Uh, you'll see here that you have got two little arrows. Uh, you might not be able to see it that clearly uh, but what this does this enables you to uh, as I said it's an anti-crease function uh, and what that will do so the first one uh, it, what it will do is at the end of the program it'll, it'll actually keep rotating uh, on the well it's normally every minute or so so it'll rotate the drum and it just avoids the, the creasing of the clothes so the first option is for 60 minutes and if you press it again then it will do it for 120 minutes so for two hours then it will rotate um, that can be really good if you've had it on say overnight or if, if you're out then it just helps to reduce the the creasing of the clothes uh, which I'm always a fan of. The next option is the low heat option. Uh, if you've got different fabrics in there that you don't want on the high heat then you can just enable that. And the next one is the signal. So uh, again if you've had it on overnight or if it's in an area that you don't want the signal at the end of the program to, if you don't want the tumble dryer to beep at the end then just press that. Uh, you've got the start and reload. Uh, the start is pretty obvious, once you put all the clothes in, just press start. The reload option, now this is something I will mention quickly. Um, what happens is if you open, uh, what a lot of people do is if, if you've forgotten to put a t-shirt in, uh, after, after it's been on for 20 minutes you think, oh let's just go and pop it in. If you open the door and then put your t-shirt in and then close the door, then what's happened is it's reset the sensor. and the program will start again and it will take it back up to the original time and you'll think well hang on it's already been drying for 20 minutes uh, and that's why the reload option is very good because what you do is you uh, press the pause button and it will pause the program and it won't reset the sensor pop your t-shirt in shut the door and then press start and it will carry on doing the drying so that's why that's on there so now that I've covered the programs I'll show you around the drum itself uh, you will notice that when you open the door you've got a nice LED light in here. Uh, it is something that some people think it's a little bit of a gimmick. Uh, personally I think it's a brilliant idea. Uh, I think the main advantage is because it's a really big drum, so you've got a 9 kilogram drum and I'm really pleased to say you've got a, a nice big porthole to get everything in and out of. Uh, what you can find is you, if you've got something small at the back um, then because it's such a big drum then if it's quite dark in there then it's something you might miss. Uh, so it's something that Siemens have done for several years and again it's something that when we point it out to customers they do really like it. Uh, you've still got the uh, metal hinges and the door catch 
so that's something that I do try and point out not all manufacturers have gone this way uh, you will find some of the cheaper brands have gone to plastic hinges and even plastic door catches uh, and that can be the first thing to to go uh, as far as maintenance there is very little maintenance on these dryers you've got the fluff filter inside here uh, this is something that um, I think a lot of people do know about that's pretty standard in uh, re I'd say really nearly all tumble dryers now just the fluff filter uh, it doesn't matter whether you're paying 150 pounds or 800 pounds and it's th that kind of filtration is pretty standard uh, you will find that it's better to try and clean it ideally every drying load uh, I know not everyone will do that some people do it every two three four loads some people just forget and then they get a message up on the display to say that the filter needs cleaning and really that's not the way to go uh, you will find it does run more efficiently if you can try and keep the filter really clean uh, the only other maintenance is at the bottom here you have got a, an easy clean filter uh, that's just at the bottom there so that's just, just something to take out uh, with this it doesn't need to be done every time uh, but just keep an eye on that that uh, you'll just need to clean that on the odd occasion uh, as far as the condenser unit itself then it is a self-contained condenser so you don't need to worry about cleaning that uh, what you'll find is that the the advantage of having a self-cleaning condenser uh, which is something that a lot of the Siemens and the Bosch machines do as well uh, what it will do well I suppose the main advantage first of all is that it can help to maintain the energy efficiency of the tumble dryer what it does is it will use the water that's contained within the drawer and towards the end of the program it will use that water pump it through the condenser unit and then it will pump it back up to the drawer so it, again it's just one less thing to to worry about and then to pop that back in what you do is that just locates at the bottom there just twist the four of them and then you're ready to go so clearly as I go through the drying process the water has to go somewhere now with this dryer there are two options uh, the first one and I suppose the way that majority of people will use it is the water is stored in here so it's just in a standard container at the top here and what you can do is when the when it's full of water then you just go and empty it you will get an indicator on the front that tells you when to empty it uh, the other option is you do get this cheeky little hose with it now this is a drain hose and you can actually connect it onto the back of the dryer I will show you that in a moment so you connect it onto the back of the dryer and what you can do is you can actually connect it into a drainage system so if you've got it near to your washing machine then just connect it into the waste outlet and that's a really good idea it just saves you having to worry about emptying the container uh, but as I say that's included with it as well now I did mention earlier about the program the woolen basket I'll have to show you that and that's really designed around this device so if you've got uh, for example as it says say woolens that you wanted to dry uh, or even if you've got things like trainers that you wanted to put on here because you can separate all of this then this is a basket that's designed to go into the dryer but they don't rotate uh, now some people think well that sounds a bit odd you know why do I want to dry my woolens in there uh, but it's not just for woolens uh, as I say people are uh, drying things like trainers I've known people do things like football boots that need them quickly uh, but what this will do is this is designed to slot in here and you locate it in the two front lugs so it's just within the filter it sits there and then it just drops back like that so it's not actually touching anything at the back of the dryer which is really good so I'll just show you around the back of the tumble dryer uh, I know for some people it's not of interest uh, but if you are installing the drain hose that I mentioned earlier then this could be of interest just so you know roughly where it is on the back uh, now as far as the drain hose itself uh, this will just attach at the bottom here so all you'd normally do is you take the original hose off here and you locate it back onto that lug there and then with the separate drain hose you just pop that onto there and then you can feed it through this channel here so as you look at the tumble dryer from the front then ideally you want the hose going out that way if you're interested in purchasing one of these dryers I have provided a link below 
to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Now something else to mention, which I don't think I have mentioned so far, is the warranty on the dryer. Uh, as standard with Siemens products, they come with a two year warranty. Have a look out for promotional guarantees uh, because quite a few items, this one included at the moment, actually has a promotional five year guarantee. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Siemens WT47 RT90 condenser dryer. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, leave any comments below. I do always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video itself. Uh, also, if you've got any questions on the dryer, if you think about buying one, but if you think, well, we didn't talk about that, then again, just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, or if you have got a Siemens heat pump dryer, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback, whether it's good or bad. Anyway, thanks for watching.